My name is Gabrielle Lee, a sales rep working for a financial institution in EMEA. My company uses Oracle Sales Cloud to manage all our critical sales processes, including managing customer information and interactions. A combination of regional and industry regulations plus corporate policy restricts my company from sending personal information belonging to our customers outside of our local site. Oracle Sales Cloud allows us to take advantage of the value of the cloud, such as cost, scale, and performance, while still persisting that critical sensitive information in our on-premise location. This offering is referred to as data residency. To offer data residency in its cloud, Oracle has closely worked with Bluecoat to bring this solution to our customers. Bluecoat solution is a software component that is hosted in my company's data center and it never allows any sensitive data from getting past our corporate network. Now, as I mentioned before, we manage customer information using Oracle Sales Cloud. Let me show you here what really gets saved within Oracle Sales Cloud and what is not sent outside of our local site. The screen that you are viewing is the contact search results in Oracle Sales Cloud. The contacts you are viewing are nothing but random tokens. The real customer data is persisted in my company's on-premise server within Bluecoat's token vault. A system hacker or even an Oracle Cloud administrator gaining access to my company's Sales Cloud instance logging directly into Oracle Cloud would only see these random tokens that wouldn't connect to any particular customer. To show you what my company's users would see, let me access Oracle Sales Cloud through my corporate firewall. As you can see, I can view all my customer information in original form as long as I go through the corporate firewall. This is made possible by Bluecoat's gateway that is able to intercept HTTP and web service traffic flowing between my browser or mobile client and the Oracle Sales Cloud and is able to replace tokens with actual values from its token vault. Let me drill into a content that I have on my screen. As you can see, I see all the data shown to me in original clear text form. I can even drill down into the edit screen and make changes to the contact information. During our sales and underwriting process, we do collect a lot of other information in the form of documentation, things like financial statements and pay slips. Now, similar to sensitive text, my company also wishes to retain those sensitive documents from going to Oracle Sales Cloud. So they have defined a policy in Bluecoat system to retain all documents on our on-premise data centers. So when I add an attachment, even though I'm able to upload documents to Oracle Sales Cloud, those documents are retained on the on-premise server. A placeholder file and a scrambled file name is all that is sent over to Oracle Sales Cloud. In case an unauthorized user tries to access the file directly, he or she would only download that replacement file with absolutely no sensitive content. Now let me create a new contact by the name of Brian Shaw and save it in the system. Once created, I'm able to look up recently created contact Brian Shaw using contact search. I'm able to search for other contacts and even sort my contacts based on their names. So the experience of the end user is almost seamless with, blue, with the Bluecoat solution. But remember, none of Brian Shaw's personal information is persisted in Oracle Sales Cloud. Let me switch gears and show you what it takes for my company's administrator to set up Bluecoat's data residency gateway also known as App Protex for Oracle Sales Cloud. Once Bluecoat's App Protex is installed on an on-premise data center, there are only three simple steps to enable data residency. The first step is to register my company's Oracle Sales Cloud instance within the administration console. This requires administrators to provide the host name and login information for the Oracle Sales Cloud instance. The second step is to provide the root REST endpoint for Sales Cloud APIs. Bluecode App Protex is capable of discovering all the protectable attributes in the system by drilling down from the root API, including standard and custom attributes. Every time we add a new custom attribute in Oracle Sales Cloud and want to configure it for protection, all we have to do is click Refresh Metadata to have that new custom attribute available in the administration console. The final setup and configuration is to configure policies for protection. The administrator will start by defining a policy and then choosing a list of protectable attributes that the company wishes to restrict from going over to Oracle Sales Cloud. In this case, let's look at adding some more protection to the contact object. 
we would click on the Add Field button and choose Attributes from the list of objects or attributes that are made available for protection. Note that any custom attributes or objects that are enabled for protection will appear here for selection. As you can see, tokenization of data is a great way to help keep any sensitive data from leaving my company's site. As an end user, it is very transparent to me. I don't have to do anything special to activate it. I don't have to do anything special to keep native functionality, such as sorting, searching, filtering. I can still create contacts, run reports, access mobile, all while knowing that my data is secure and following all legislative and policy rules. Thank you for your time today. If you have any further questions, please contact your Oracle Sales representative.